Okay, we're here at the Myrtle Beach test and uh, got the table set up here and we got a pad for people to sign in and sign on in and uh, we should be able to take their launch track ticket and scan it. We have a bucket for the return bracelet so when they finish they need to return the bracelets. We got our camera to be able to video some of this. We got our bot score handouts. We got our pocket radars. We've got our ID bands. Uh, pre-scanned and ready for the event in here and then we have some extra pencils and whatnot these are all of the laptops and everything configured uh, we got the router set up here with the uh, TV screen displaying everything which I've run a test this morning this is the main computer with the Zigbee file in it and the RFID scanner attached uh, this is the one I'm using for the Pro Agility. This is the one I'm using for the vertical jump. This is one I'm using for the ball exit velocity. And this is the one that I'm using for the hitting station with the ZEP. I have paired the ZEP reader and it's ready to uh, read. Just need to put that sensor in the bottom of the bats. So the first station we have over here is the 20. We're doing an indoor one at the 20. If it's outdoor, we'll try to do 30. And uh, this is the, the RFID reader number one. So this is where they would scan in. Uh, and this is the starting point where they would start. So we're gonna start here like they're stealing a base. And we're gonna run through here uh, as the 20. We have a 10 yard uh, break as well as a 20 yard finish. So that's the first station as far as running the actual 20 indoors. Careful to make sure you have enough room to slow down because these kids that are moving need about another 10 yards to slow down. And then in our second testing station, we have the um, Pro Agility set up. Uh, I have it right next to the lane here. And uh, this is where they will start in beam. Um, and then they will run. They can choose right or left to the cones. Uh, back and forth uh, but we have kind of the people that would come through here so they would scan in right here this rfid reader we got plenty of places for parents to sit and stand as well so this is our second station the pro agility this third station we have set up is the vertical jump and this being uh, where you set that up this is the reader for that one and this is where they will jump to uh touch the uh highest point that they can and uh, you set that mark right here putting their finger at the top part of the red so you got to find you a constant mark and then wherever they jump we have these marked accordingly um, which we have figured out through people a lot smarter than me um, then the next station we have is the velocity station so we just have a bucket of balls and a net here I've got the uh, tape set up, and I did put tape on the ground right by all the cones in case the cones got knocked away, just masking tape. And then I've got the uh, net set up here. So this is the reader they would uh, scan in on. Got a bucket of balls here with about 25 balls in it. So to get loose when you're indoors, because you don't want kids throwing, they can uh, throw you know, 15, 20 balls into the net to get loose, and then they'll be ready to go. Then our last station here, because this is where you'll do the hot swap, is the actual hitting station. So at this point, they will check in here and scan in, and then they'll hit the balls off the tee. They can hit a few off the tee to warm up, uh, since we don't have a swing away here today. When you have a swing away, they can use that in the balance. But we're dealing with limited space in this particular scenario to make it work, so it's, it's worked out fine. Uh, the coach will stand behind this net right against the wall there about 10 feet away with the pocket radar to get the exit velocity. We'll have the participant grab the balls out of the bucket and put it on the tee himself and swing the bats. They're going to use the kudzu bats. I have them preset with the mounts on them. So all you have to do is put the sensor in the bottom of the bat the size they use. Um, I do have other bats available over there they can warm up with when you do have a swing away available. So this is our space and uh, those are the five settings. In this case, you will have to scan them in 
Um, this sh- should be where you take the bracelet from them. This is their fifth one. And that way you can write down all of the uh, details that are manually and put them in at a later point if you need to. But all these stations have the mobile pads uh, with them so you can post from there. All right, this is our first setup indoors. Thanks.